What up, people? Before we get into the video, I just want you to know that even though it says Evil Glee, the variation we're doing really is Ripper. I didn't change the name while recording the video. So now that you know that, let's get right into the video. What up, people? It's Snake Ops here. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to play Kano. Now, Kano is an all or nothing character. I think Kano, even though he's bottom 10, in my opinion, he has the potential to beat anybody in this game just because of how you're supposed to play him. How you're supposed to play Kano is you just constantly mix and go in with the reads. That's what you do. This right here. This right here. And then he has the role to check you. If you play Kano the right way and you are a very lucky person in general, you can do real work with this character because this character is just meant to, how can I put it? He's all or nothing, kind of like Ermac was in the last game. So let's just discuss everything you need to do with him more in depth. So first let's talk about his punish. This is the combo you're gonna do most of the time for punishes. So let me show you again. Get your double jab right there, get your grab. Command grab. Now, I prefer to do it like this because I find that more consistent, but you can add the little double jab like I showed you earlier if you want more damage. That is the first thing you need to know about Kano is to get this down, and once you get that down, you got your you know, highest damage combo mid-screen. Now, let's discuss his mix-ups more in depth. First, you have his low. Off of his low, you want to do his command grab, look at my input, and do that right there. Now, I prefer to spin the bar every time, and it's 25% off of a low. So they guess wrong a couple of times, they're dead. Then his overhead complements that. Very good overhead. It is a safe overhead, and it does pretty decent damage for overhead in this game. So you just mix them up with these two things right here. Now, the problem with Kano is he has very, very bad mids. This is his mid right here. It's a single hidden mid, minus 13. You can try to space it to make it a little less punishable, but for the most part, this mid is very disgusting bad. I don't recommend using it at all. You can just get punished and your reward for hitting it is not that much. Now, his other mid is this right here. We're gonna be discussing this mid more later. This is the mid you wanna use with him most of the time. So you can check them with this mid right here or this mid right here. What this mid does is it crushing blows. Like I said, we're gonna talk about that more later and it's minus four so it's a decent mid to use but you know can't get a good combo off of it which kind of sucks for kano players well the people that want to play kano and yeah i mean it's not a big deal at lower levels of play but it can get pretty annoying that you don't have really good mids to check anybody another mid i forgot to mention is this right here this is a joke for a mid. You can only really get that or this off that mid. And it's a retreating single hitting mid. Why is a character that wants to be in your face has a retreating mid? I don't know what they were thinking. That's kind of terrible. But you got to work with you. Got it if you want to play Kano. But like I said, only really use this mid. The other ones are just not worth it at all. Get a nice knockdown. It doesn't put them at a range where you can do anything, but it's pretty safe off of it. So a good cane around will look something like, okay, hit him with the low. All right, now I'm gonna overhead him. All right, he's gonna be mashing now. I'm gonna hit him with the mid. Okay, now he's scared to block. Hit him with the throw. Just constant mix-ups. Speaking of mix-ups, the throw right here, he can tick you off of him. Now we're gonna be talking about his throw a little more. Now, first of all, let me show you right here. Let's just set him to duck. It's not a mid, 
which sucks, but you can get some ticks off of it. So let's just put them on lock all. You can get a down one command grab off of it. You get a low. Get that right there. And you can get a jumping tick. Very good ticks. If the command grab was a mid, oh no, <laughs> that would be very dangerous. But where Kano is right now, I don't think it would be a big deal if they made it a mid. His mids are not good at all, so you can use this to, you know, play the counter poking game. If you think they're going to poke you back, down one into that. Get you a nice punish. If you spin the bar, good damage. So you're going to have to use that if you want to play Kano, because people will try to disrespect you up close because his mids aren't good. You can be like, nope, don't disrespect me, parry. Now we're going to be talking about his crushing blows, but sadly he only has one good viable crushing blow, and that's this right here. It does around 29% and can get you some really good damage if you know they're gonna match. Kano can also be a very good zoner. His projectile recovers very quick and if you spin the bar, you can throw him off with the second hit. Do not underestimate this character's zoner. Since he can't play the up close game really well with the mids, if he wants a way to check you, he can check you with his zoner. Also, if you're zoning them and they happen to duck a lot of these projectiles, you can start throwing the Kano ball out in the neutral. Spin the bar, get the extra damage if you want. That's what Kano ball is really meant for. Check them in the neutral as well. So that basically covers everything about Kano. Kano is a character that's not that good in this game, but in the right player's hands, he can beat anybody. And by the right player, I mean the lucky player. If you just happen to be a very lucky person and guess right most of the time, I think you should pick up Kano. You will find a lot of success with him. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and Nick Ops out.